Hey everybody and welcome to a new video on E Stampley Art. Today I'm going to be looking at these Zebra Zensation Mechanical Colored Pencils and no, this video is not sponsored. Um, I actually got these two in a sketch box uh, a few months ago and enjoyed working with them in my sketchbook and wanted to get more colors. And so I got the full 24 set, I believe this is all the colors that they make, and I ordered those and I wanted to try them out. So first I opened the package and it's got a really nice kind of, um, uh, not exactly really hard, but a pl nice plastic packaging to it. And it shows you on the back how to make it into like a little stand. So then the pencils will uh, stand up and you can take them out. Um, took me a minute to kind of figure it out, but I got there eventually. So as you can see, you have this neat kind of stand that you can sit and then pull the pencils out of. It's kind of cool. They're kind of triangle in shape, uh, the pencil is, and it works just like a regular mechanical pencil. You use the plunger at the top to push out the pigment stick um, that comes out of the bottom. And now it's time for our favorite time. Okay, the one issue I really had was, okay, as you see, I'm struggling here to get the lead to come out. It keeps wanting to go back in. Um, I think what happened was that something, the lead wasn't getting caught into whatever mechanics that go on to push the lead out. And I kept everything, I kept trying to push it from the inside. So I finally got a paper clip and pushed the lead down further outside of the barrel. And it finally, I finally got it to work. And then, then you can push it back in and then it works normally, like it's supposed to work. The only problem is I kept having this issue over and over and over and over again. Um, it was really kind of frustrating. Um, that That's a real big flaw I didn't like. Once I got all the leads situated and I finally got them out, it, they were fine, but the fact that I had to do that on like several of them, I had to push the lead out, uh, that really kind of, I don't know, it perturbed me. Yeah, my black lead, it broke. It broke, it was broken. <laughs> has a pretty good variety of colors, your warms and your cools. Um, yeah, I, I kind of liked uh, the selection that they had. I think it kind of covers the gamut. Maybe could have had a couple more uh, varieties of purple. That might be my one uh, issue. So well, I was gonna do an Easter drawing because you know, it's that time of year. And so I sketched out a few things that are Easter related bunnies and carrots and um, Easter baskets, little chicks, um, tulips and daffodils. So I pulled all the stuff that I sketched out that I liked and made a little thumbnail sketch of uh, how I wanted my final image to look. So I had real fun drawing this. Um, I actually really like Easter because I like bunnies. I know that's really not what Easter is about. I totally understand that, um, but I do like bunnies. So um, I definitely wanted to draw a bunny and some Easter eggs because that's one of my favorite things to do for Easter is to dye uh, Easter eggs. So definitely wanted to include that. And an Easter basket, of course, because you can't have Easter without an Easter basket. And of course, some, some flowers, whether they're gonna be tulips or daffodils. Um, I like the, daff the shape of the daffodils better than the tulips, so um, that's why I chose to use them instead. I really like flowers, so and I, draw I tend to draw them a good bit in some of my things. So I kind of sketched out uh, my drawing with my uh, regular lead pencil and then went back with a uh, mechanical pencil that I've been using to kind of refine all my details.
Okay, let's set the mood. Let's put some Easter eggs, a little carrot up here. Let's get ourselves into the mood. Okay, so onto the real view of these colored pencils. Um, I kind of like the fact that these are mechanical colored pencils. I think they work really well. Um, they go on the page, at least the paper that I'm using, it's, it's not a specific paper. It's just like a sketchbook that I happened to pick up a while ago at Ikea that I've been using. Uh, so I couldn't tell you exactly what kind of paper it is. It's not exactly as thin as newsprint, but it, it's not like the best quality paper. Uh, in the world, but it does take to uh, pencil and color pencil fairly well. Um, it's okay with marker, but um, just to kind of give you an idea. Anyway, um, these pencils go on really smooth on this uh, paper. They're, they're very smooth. They don't layer the best, uh, to be very honest. Uh, some colors layer over better than others. I had a little issues later when I'm working on like the daffodils trying to layer the yellow, uh, trying to layer the like orange and brown colors kind of over the yellow. So I had kind of issues there. It worked okay. But overall, I was really satisfied with these. Um, I, they're very creamy. Uh, they're very soft. The one thing I really, really like that I noticed from the beginning is, say, if I went out of line, uh, went out of the lines with a certain color, and I could go in with my eraser, and I'm going in with, uh, I believe it's my Tombow Mono eraser, and it erases really well. Uh, so that's that's one positive thing, and it also works really well. Um, I used my eraser to make highlights, and um, so so that I, I really enjoyed. I did like the fact that if you were erasing it, it actually did erase. I've had colored pencils before where you use them and you try to erase them um, and yeah you, it doesn't work very well. So the one thing I can say about these is they they do erase really really well. Uh, my overall critique, I really enjoyed working with these. Um, they went on the paper really smooth. I thought they were really nice. The colors are pretty vibrant that they have. Um, like I said, my one complaint, I wish they had had maybe a couple more options for purple. I think there was like one purple really, and I think they could have had at least maybe one more, maybe a little darker or something like that, or maybe like a lighter uh, lilac color. Um, so that, that that's probably my one. I want to issue. Uh, the one cool thing that I do like about these is they are actually refillable. So if you use all your lead up in one of the pencils, you can just reorder a full set of refills and refill your colored pencils. So that's great. One thing I wanted to test was to see how well these colored pencils can blend. So I was going to try to use a couple of different colorless blenders to test that out. I'm doing a swatch here of a couple of blues, uh, using a lighter blue and a darker blue, kind of layering them on top of each other before I add, uh, try adding the colorless blender. So in my possession, I have two colorless blenders, a Prismacolor Premier colorless blender. And so I'm trying that one out first. And smoothing it out a bit, as you can tell, um, get a little bit of residue, but that's kind of par for the course a little bit. And then I also have a Derwent uh, colorless blender as well. I'm going to try it. It's leaving a fair amount of residue. And it's also leaving kind of like a slightly yellow hue. That could be because of the paper. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, it was pretty messy. So I kind of decided in the end to go ahead and use the uh, Prismacolor one because it seemed to blend the colors just a little bit more than the Derwent did. And so I just, I'm using it mostly just on the background, the sky background, uh, nothing else. 
Also remember if you're gonna use a colorless blender with colored pencils especially, if there's a color that you're getting near that you don't want to blend in, try to stay away from it. Otherwise it might start to try to pick up that color and blend it into the other colors. And so there were a couple of spots I had to erase and then kind of fill it back in because I accidentally pulled in some of the brown or pulled in some of the green and I didn't want it to look muddy in certain little spots. So I really loved how this uh, little Easter inspired image turned out. It's really cute. Uh, it's exactly pretty much how I wanted it to, to be. Uh, I, I do apologize that this video is a bit later than I wanted it uh, to come out. I'm in my really busy season. So um, hopefully after this uh, busy period is over, I'll get to posting more regularly. That's my plan anyway. Also in this video, I wanted to give a little bit of a shout out hey! to this uh, Teagall pencil sharpener. I featured it on an art haul video I did a little while ago. I used it to sharpen the two colorless blender pencils that I used in the video, the Prismacolor and the Derwent, which are two different size pencils. The Premier is a standard kind of pencil size, whereas the Derwent is a much thicker pencil, and this pencil sharpener will do both of those. This particular pencil sharpener has uh, five different pencil sharpening settings. One is a little more stubby, and five is kind of like the really long sharp point uh, that you're sort of used to mostly with pencils. Um, I tend to go with a two or a three, so it's a little bit more stubby than your standard pencil size. But I really recommend this pencil sharpener. Um, I will put a link below to where you can purchase it if you want to. Uh, I really, really like it. So I wanted to send out a belated happy Easter to everyone. In the meantime, of course, if you liked this video, give it a nice thumbs up below and feel free to share as you wish. Also, feel free to subscribe down below so you'll know about new videos when they come out. And you can always follow me on Twitter at eStampleyArt. And as always, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.